Hello guys, welcome to Top Wisdom. Today, we are going to learn the topic of CSR and CSI, Corporate Social Responsibility. I've done this, but I didn't explain. Now I'm going to explain even more further so that you guys can understand what is Corporate Social Responsibility. And also, we're going to learn what is Corporate Social Investment. So, to begin, first of all, I'm going to try and say this. What learners need to know and what learners must be able to know before writing an exam. You must define on the meaning of CSR. You must define. That means you must know the meaning of CSR and also know the purpose of CSR. Identify the components of CSR like, for example, environment, ethical, corporate, social investment, and health and safety. Identify CSR programs from given scenarios. These are the things you need to know before you write your exam when you are about to write your exam about CSR or CSI. So they are very important, very important to listen here. So without wasting any time, as you know, as usual, we always start this way. We're going to start with the terms and definition. Terms and definition. So the term corporate social responsibility, a continuous commitment from a business to act ethically and contribute to economic development. That is corporate social responsibility. Corporate social investment, projects that are not part of the normal businesses activities and are designed and aimed to benefit and aimed to benefit the community. That is corporate social investment. And JSE and SRI, the Johannesburg Exchange, Social Responsibility Index informs investors about corporate su sustainability policies and practices of listed companies. Initiatives, important new plans undertaken as solution to a problem. Stakeholders include any individual organization that relate to the business in some way or that are directly or indirectly affected by activities of the business. That, those are the terms and definition. So now we are going to what is very, very important, guys. What is very, very important? Now we are going to the meaning of CSR, Corporate Social Responsibility. So this is the meaning of CSR. The way businesses manage their process to affect their stakeholders in a positive way. The meaning of CSR is the way business manage their process. Way businesses manage their process. I, I've, I've used this because this one is very simple. If you don't understand this, you definitely have a problem. It's the way business manage their process. Way business manage their process to affect stakeholders. I have said the meaning of stakeholders in the beginning on terms and definition. If you have listened, you now you understand what are stakeholders. Affect their stakeholders in a positive way. Positive way, in a good way. So the other one, uh, which is the meaning of CSR, I can say the continuing commitment by business to behave ethically, which is ethical, you know, in a good manner. And contribute to the economic development while improving the quality of life of local community and society at large. So, I'm going to use this in English that is very simple and understandable that even an eight-year-old can understand. So, corporate social responsibility. Their responsibility is to improve the community. So, they must act ethical, of, of course. But another responsibility is to improve their community. The community, the local community, by the way, that's one of their responsibility to contribute to economic development and improve the community. That's simple. Now you understand the meaning of CSR. Very simple. So now I'm going to the purpose of CSR. CSR aims at creating a safe working environment for employees. It aims at creating safe environment, safe working environment for employees. 
this is very important it's very important you have learned this about koida on on term one but i'm going to explain this again it is very important for workers to work in a safe environment so that's one of the responsibility of csr csr programs are internal programs that businesses use to comply with laws and ethics they also use this to comply with laws and ethics businesses seek to promote public interest and do away with harmful practices without the need of any formal legislation businesses operation addresses triple bottom line through csr programs by considering its impact on people profit and planet so this ones i i've said this and i've made a video about this triple bottom line through csr programs i've already made a video about this so i won't explain the same thing twice you can go to the description you you will find the link for the video so anyway another responsibility of csr to promote public interest is very important promote public interest that's one of the reasons why they do csr csr programs because they want to promote public interest if the business the business can for example sponsor a local soccer team in in your local let's say you live at let me make an example about the township maybe say you live at Zagan at Zagan then we sponsor the team at Zagan obviously the, our our public company our company company's name or reputation will spread that's it that's it you promote public interest that's how you do it so csr programs and activity the businesses undertakes to contribute positively to the community in which the business operates that's it i can say it that way so after i've said this these things that are straightforward about corporate social responsibility uh, the aim here i want you to understand what is corporate social responsibility which i've already explained in another video but here i'm going further and further and further so that you guys can understand even more so I'm going to the components of corporate social responsibility. Components: environment, ethical corporate social investment, health and safety, corporate governance, business ethics, employment equity, empl employees and customers, community supply chain. Those are the components of social of so of corporate social responsibility. Those are the components. So, these are the impact of CSR and CSI on businesses. Guys, I want you to listen very carefully. This is very important. This always appears on exam. This is very important. I don't say forget the others, but this one you must know. So the impact of corporate social responsibility and corporate or corporate social investment, they go together. So I'm going to start with the advantages. Promotes customer loyalty, resulting in more sales. Promotes customer loyalty resulting in more sales you know customer loyalty if you are if you are you study economics at your school by now i'm sure you know what he, what what are the importance of having customer loyalty in the business but anyway i'm just going to explain this is what many companies right now apply for example they they give away the card for loyalty points things like that so that it can it can promote customer loyalty which will result in more sales because you think you will get more points obviously when you have that card so csi projects promote teamwork within the business straightforward the business enjoys the goodwill and support of communities the business enjoys goodwill or support of communities so whenever you you support local local community as i've said here in the beginning that one of the the responsibility of corporate social responsibility is to promote public public interest which i've talked about the team at Zakan. so this will make this will make this will increase support in your community that simply means the community will support you will support your business because you support them also so that's how it works 
CSI helps to attract investors because of increased profits and income. Helps to attract investors because of increased profits or income. Obviously, when the business profit increases each and every time, obviously, it will attract investors. Investors will come to invest in your company because they can see the company is working and not failing. And it also improves the health of its employees through forecast CSI projects, by the way. So now I'm going to the disadvantages, which are the negatives, disadvantages. It is difficult to accurately measure the effectiveness of social investment. It is difficult because it doesn't mean when you sponsor a local team at Zakan. Sorry to use one local locality, so local community, but I'm going to use Zakan because they play more football there. But anyway, it is difficult to accurately measure the effectiveness of social investment. It's difficult. It doesn't mean when you sponsor a team at Zakan, that means like they're going to support you. It doesn't mean that. So it is difficult to measure the accurately measure to accurately measure the effectiveness of social investment. Most managers are not trained. As usual, you know in South Africa, most managers in the companies are not trained in South Africa. Most managers are not trained or they lack experience to handle social programs. Businesses find it difficult to adhere to legislation of governing CSI. Detailed reports must be drawn up, which can be time-consuming. Remember, it's important to save time in businesses. This is time-consuming when you, you must draw up business reports, things like that, detailed reports. Yeah, it's time-consuming. CSI activities distract businesses focused from its core business function. This is also one of the one of the disadvantages. So now, guys, I'm going to another thing now. I'm going to impact of CSR and CSI on the communities. I'm saying this because it might confuse you. Confuse you. Impact of CSR and CSI on the community. On the community. Now we are focusing on the community. So I'm going to start with the advantages. Provision of bazaaris encourages communities to improve their skills. Provision of bazaaris encourages communities to improve their skills. So they start to offer bazaaris things like that so that the community can improve their skills so that they can go and learn skills at university or colleges. Then they improve their skill. We will have ITs on our local local towns, things like that. So this is one of the responsibility of corporate social responsibility and corporate social investment. Better educational facilities are established in poor communities. Better educational facilities are established in poor communities. I'm sure you guys know this by now because if you watch Checkpoint, you can see those things that there were schools that were affected somehow don't they do not have smart board things like that now they have smart boards because of some companies that decided to do that in order to promote public interest the standard of living of the community is uplifted the standard of living of the community is uplifted or quality of life of community is improved this is a simple english i've said it in a simple english or quality of life of communities is improved. The provision of medical infrastructure improves the health of the communities. Training opportunities in the community increase the possibility of appointment of members of the community. So now I'm going to the disadvantages. Businesses are not always equipped to address social problems. So not all businesses can be able to address social problems. Communities tend to be dependent on CSR programs and struggle to take their own initiatives. That's one of the problems. When, when you give someone things, when you start to give someone things, like you give him every day, you give him food and give him everything, he will now start to depend on you. He will start to depend on you. He or she, by the way, he will start to depend on you. Then now it becomes a problem. 
because now you cannot do things on your own. What if I cannot supply anymore? So that's one of the problems of CSR programs. Businesses tend to focus on CSR programs that does not directly benefit the community. Some businesses only participate in CSR initiatives to raise profit and do not really care for community in which they operate. I've said this, this is part of public interest where they promote their brand or the company. Sometimes they don't do it for the for the for, for, for community. They are doing it to benefit. They are doing it for profit. They don't really care about the community. And that's the truth. We see that every day. So now we are going to corporate social investment. Meaning of corporate social investment. It is when a business commits money, resources and time to a specific project that will improve the lives of people. Corporate social investment, you know what is investment. This is part of this is this is straightforward. Investment commits money, resources and time to a specific project that will improve the lives of people. Purpose of CSI. CSI aims to contribute putting towards sustainable development of its immediate communities. CSI is enforceable by law and government requires businesses to make CSI contribution. CSI projects play a positive role in development of community. CSI reveals the business attitude towards the community in which it operates. So in CS, the purpose of CSI is, is basically basically similar to CSR, almost similar. So they contribute to the community to improve the, the com community. That's part of the, ro the roles they, they play. So and they also are enforceable by the law. That simply means they 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 must follow the law. The law which requires businesses to make CSI contribution. So CSI focus focus, focus areas, community, rural development, employees, environment. You must remember this one. Examples of the CSI project: donations to support local organizations. Being involved in conversation projects, delivering services that government is unable or slow to deliver, or building infrastructure, investing job creation projects. As you know that investing in job creation projects will improve the community because now poverty will decrease and they also offer donations, which I've to told you already that their purpose is to raise, is to raise the standard of living of the community so that's why offering donations might help it might help and also being being involved in conventional projects that simply means helping out the government somewhere how somewhere maybe the government wants to build a bridge and the money is not enough contributing to that and raising the money to build the bridge so this is it. So now I'm going to explain the difference between corporate social responsibility and corporate social investment. I'm going to just explain quickly. Corporate social responsibility, the intention is to change the business practice. The intention is to change the business practice. In corporate social investment, actively com committing money and resources to uplift the community. In corporate social responsibility, the intention is to change the business practice. But in corporate social investment, it's to actively committing money and resources to uplift the community. Corporate social responsibility focuses focus is on increasing image and profit, but corporate in social investment focus is on the uplifting of community without return on investment. So that's it. That's it, and also to ensure which is corporate social responsibility is to ensure that all internal CSI policies practices include stakeholders interest but in corporate social investment ensure that CSI projects are relevant to the needs of the community so now i'm sure you now understand that corporate social investment most of the time it focuses on the community it doesn't care about their image most of the time obviously it cares but it doesn't care that much about their image but it focuses on the community their responsibility to focus on the community and uplift the community while in corporate social responsibility in other way even though 
they they care about the community they are more focused on themselves on raising the company's profits they are more focused on that that's very important to them that's why they contribute to the community so guys please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video and share the video